Hi guys! Welcome to Law Diaries, Lex Comentario. So for today's video, sasagutin ko yung tanong na what to expect in law school. So ano ba talaga yung mga bagay na kailangan natin asahan kapag nag-enroll tayo sa isang law school? So mahirap ba? Stressful ba? Expensive ba? Nakakatakot ba? So I'm gonna answer that question. So if you are curious of the answers, Please keep on watching. First, let's talk about the actual class. So in law school, guys, you need to expect three things. First, there will be a lot of readings, book readings, case readings, whatever. Second, there would be a lot of case digest. And third one, there would be a lot of recitation, like almost every day. Every day recitation. So let's elaborate those three guys. So the first one, readings. Sa law school guys, you need to expect na marami ka talagang babasahin sa mga libro mo ang kapal-kapal ng books ng isang law student guys. Very, very, very scary diba? But very amazing at the same time. You may know guys, ang book ng isang law student is wala pong drawings. Hindi po makakapal yung sulat. As in, ah, hindi naman ganun kaliit din. Depende sa book na bibilhin nyo. Merong mga books na sobrang liit ng text. Hindi naman sobra. Ang OA ko naman. Parang maliit lang yung text. Meron ding books na malalaki yung text. Meron books na sakto-sakto lang yung text. Merong books na makakapal yung table of contents. Mer merong books na makakapal yung appendix. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng example ng isang book ng isang law student. So, ganito po, kakapal yung book ng isang law student. Hindi naman lahat ng books guys ganito kakapal. Yung ibang book is manipis lang. Yung ibang book is mas makapal pa dito. As you may see guys, yung book ko yan is walang pong drawing. Lahat ng nasa loob ng books na to guys is pure text. So, ganyan. question dyan na, what if hindi ako into book readings? Ganun-ganun. So, hindi na ba ako pwedeng maging lawyer? O hindi na ba ako pwedeng maging law student? I, I would say no, guys. Kasi ako, during my undergrad years, um, yung course ko kasi, guys, yung pre-law course ko is a computer-related course. During my first year sa course na yun, guys, hindi ko alam kung paano mag-save ng file sa flash drive. Imagine, Hindi pa ako na nagkaroon ng flash drive ever since. That was my first time na magkaroon ako ng flash drive. At doon din na time, ko nalaman kung ano ba mag-save ng file sa flash drive. Doon ko rin nalaman yung shortcut na uh, pagka-capital ng mga letters, ganun. So, hindi ibig sabihin, guys, na slow, slow reader ka or hindi ka into books, ay hindi ka na magiging law student or hindi ka na pwedeng maging law student or hindi ka na pwedeng maging lawyer. Kasi, guys, if you want to achieve something, go for it. Wala na mga reason, reasons, guys. Lahat ng reasons, merong kasagutan. Charot! So, if you think that you are not into books, there's a possibility, guys, na pwede mo siyang ma mapag-aralan na mahalin yung libro mo. Or pwede mo mapag-aralan kung paano mo mamahalin ang pagbabasa ng libro. Charot! <laughs> so, in law school, guys, again, you need to expect that there would be a lot of readings. Book readings. Bakit paraming book readings? Kasi sa books, guys, dito natin malalaman yung laws, um, whatever, true law. And dito sa mga cases, guys, ito yung application ng law, actual na application ng law. So dito natin malalaman kung paano ginamit yung law na to. Maa-amaze ka kung gaano kaganda yung laws ng Philippines. Kapag nag-aral ka ng law, guys, you will be amazed. Pa-miss ka talaga, paulit-ulit kung gano'ng kaganda yung loss natin. Especially na kapag nagbabasa ka ng case, ma-amaze ka. And you will say, wow, grabe si Judge. Super smart. Ganer. So, ikalawa guys, yung expect mo is case digest. So, marami case digest sa law school guys. I remember during our first year, first semester, pinag-digest kami ng teacher namin ng 48 cases. Imagine, at ipapasa namin yun guys, good for 3 days. Kasi nagalit kasi sir nun, kaya pinansahan kami, kaya pinag-digest kami ng 48 na kato at ipasya for 3 days. Grabe, yung kamay ko guys, grabe. Hindi ko ma-explain na mamaga, 
namumula pa ng ayaw ko nang maghawak ng boyfriend. <laughs> yun yun. Kasi, punishment. <laughs> so, again guys, in law school, you need to expect that there will be a lot of case digest. So, para saan ba yung case digest? Na pwede naman sana natin i-encode na lang para hindi na magkasugat-sugat yung mga kamay natin at hindi na mamaga kasi technology naman yung uh, boom ngayon sa age natin, di ba? Pero bakit kailangan isulat pa? Kailangan isulat kamay talaga guys para ma-enhance or ma-improve yung handwriting ng isang law student. Kasi guys, one of the um, success in passing the board sabi ng professors namin is yung isang magandang handwriting. So kailangan isang law student as much as possible, maganda yung sulat kamay niya. Hindi naman necessary na maganda talaga. Ang importante is kapag babasahin mo, hindi siya masakit sa mata at maiintindihan talaga ng nagbabasa yung sagot mo. Yung mga ganon. And then the third one guys, na expect mo sa klase or sa loob ng klase ng isang law school is recitation. Alam niyo, grabe na shook ako. First year ako noon. Hala, parisit si mga guys. Wala pang books? Parisit agad? Grabe naman eh, oy. I was so scared. Promise. I'm so scared, guys. Like, for one month, for a month, I'm so scared. Takot na takot akong pumasok sa klase kasi feeling ko matatawag ako. Feeling ko wala akong may sasagot sa recitation. Feeling ko mga kamote ako. Yan yung feeling ko, guys, for one month. As in one month. Kasi halos everyday may parisit. Tapos iba-iba pa yung subjects mo everyday. Nakakatakot, diba? Sino hindi matatakot doon? Hala, grabe siya. Pero alam nyo, nakangker ko naman yung fear ko, guys. Isang lesson na nakuha ko doon is kumakal yung mukha ko guys. After one month, sabi ko sa sarili ko, so what kung matawag ako? So what kung walang sagot? So what kung mapahiya? <laughs> Maliling ko kami naman ng mga classmates mo na napahiya ka guys. Ikaw lang naman yung hindi makakalimot. Maliling mo kayo ng classmates mo guys kasi sila rin, may sarili din silang experience ng kahigyan. So ano kanila? Aalalahan. Aalalahan yung experience mo. Aalalahan nila yung experience nila. So yes guys, if you are wondering kung scary ba talaga yung law school. Yes, it is scary. But who cares? We want to be a lawyer, so go, go, go! <laughs> now, let's go to the subjects na madidiscuss sa law school, guys. So, may dalawang klase na subjects na madidiscuss dito. Ito yung bar subjects at non-bar subjects. One time, guys, may nag-ask sa akin na, ah, law student ka pala? Siya na, oo, uh, pero tapos ako, nag-graduate na ako ng four years course, blah, blah, blah. Tapos sabi ni kuya, ah, okay lang yun kasi makikredit na, na yung mga subject mo sa undergrad course mo pag, pag nag-law school ka. So, this is actually wrong, guys. Hindi po makikredit kung ano mang subjects yung napag-aralan mo during your undergrad sa iyong law school, guys. Dahil sa law school, guys, bonggang-bongga na yung mga subjects dito, guys. Wala nang English, guys. Wala nang subject-verb agreement sa law school. Wala nang mathematics, guys. Wala nang x squared plus y squared equals rods, carrots. Wala nang mga ganun-ganong bagay, guys. Wala nang history, guys. Kung kailan dumating si Magyalan sa Philippines, mga keme-keme, wala nang ganun. Sa law school, guys, ang subject mo are purely law-related subjects. Yun. Lahat ng subjects new guys, is related sa law or legal, mga rots, carrots na mga topic. Wala nang, again, wala nang English, math, wala nang ganun, guys. Wala nang science, wala nang ganun. Yung, yung subjects sa law school, guys, are either bar subjects or non-bar subjects. So, when we say bar subjects, guys, ito yung mga subjects na kailangan mong mapag-aralan para makapasa ka sa bar. Ito yung mga subjects, guys, na related sa bar. As you may know, meron tayong 8 bar subjects. Civil, criminal, legal ethics, yung mga ganun-ganun. So, yung pag-aaralan mong mga subjects, guys, are related sa law, such as Family Code of the Philippines, Civil Law, Criminal Law, yung mga ganun-ganun. At meron din tayong non-bar subjects, guys. Ito yung mga subjects na hindi naman kasali sa pa-exam sa bar, but relevant in the study of law. Such as statutory construction. Hindi naman kasali yung statutory construction sa bar subject, guys. But it is an, an important subject in law. Malalaman niyo yun kapag nag-take kayo ng law school. At meron din tayong uh, subject na legal research, legal techniques. 
So sa law school guys, again, merong dalawang subjects, bar subjects at non-bar subjects. Now, pumunta naman tayo sa mga teachers. Iba-iba yung mga personality ng teachers, you guys. Merong mga teachers na terorista. Yung mga terror, yung mga nakakatakot, yung horror kung magparisit. Meron ding friendly na teacher na parang gusto mong mag-aral everyday kasi nakakatuwa si sir. Hindi nakakatakot. Maraming jokes. Friendly na teacher. Meron din tayong fresh grad na mga teachers na very uh, inspiring yung mga stories nila na oh my god nag naging lawyer na si ma'am ganun ganun meron din tayong teachers na smiling singko guys yung pa smile smile lang pero hindi mo nalalaman bagsak pala pala at the end of the semester so iba't iba yung personality ng teachers guys kasi iba't iba naman talaga yung personality ng mga tao Swerte mo kapag dun ka napunta sa mga teachers na matisipag. Ang teachers na masisipag, guys, sila yung masipag mag-discuss at masipag magbigay ng examples sa mga provisions ng law. Yun yung mga gusto kong teachers, guys, eh. Yun ba kung magdi-discuss siya yung wala sa book? Kasi parang uh, pag nag-discuss siya, parang may in-note ako or parang may idadagdag akong notes sa books ko. Yung parang ganon, yung mga very inspiring na teachers, yun yung gusto ko. Gusto gusto ko uh, mag-school kapag ganun yung teachers. Also guys, one thing that you need to know, sa school namin, lahat ng teachers namin are lawyers, judge, or fiscal. So, basta yung mga teachers is dapat ma may mga experience sa law. Siyempre naman, di ba? Magtuturo sila ng law. So, dapat may alam sila about law or legal rots ka rots. Now, let's go to expenses, guys. Mahal ba ang law school? Actually, education is really expensive, di ba? Pero depende yun, guys. Kahit naman mahal yung isang bagay, pwede ka namang magtitip. Mahal talaga ang law school, guys, kapag everyday ka nag-aaral sa infinity. Mahal talaga ang law school, guys, kapag everyday ka nag-aaral sa labas, yung mga air condition, or study na mga places, roads ka, roads. Ako, guys, isang advice ko para makatipid kayo sa law school, mag-aaral kayo sa bahay. Doon, walang storbo. Doon, hindi ka pa uh, magagastos ng pera, pambili ng milk tea, pambili ng kung ano-anong pagkain, di ba? Kung gusto mong makatipid sa law school, meron namang ways, guys. Pag sasabihin mo, mahal yung books, pwede ka namang mag-PDF lang. Kung ayaw mo ng PDF kasi masakit yun sa mata, di ba? Pwede ka namang pumunta sa library, guys. Doon ka mag-take notes or yung mga ganong-ganong bagay. Kung sasabihin mo namang mahal yung law school na tuition, guys, hindi naman lahat ng school or hindi naman lahat ng law school mahal yung tuition, guys. Sa amin, actually, 300 pesos per unit yung tuition namin. Kapag gusto mo yung isang bagay, guys, meron talagang ways para ma-achieve mo yun. So, when you say it's expensive or being a lawyer is expensive, pwede mo yung uh, hanapan ng paraan, guys. Pwede ka magtrabaho. Kasi graduate ka na, di ba? Graduate ka na ng bachelor degree mo kapag nag-proceed ka ng law. May classmates ako, guys, na may family na nga sila. Meron na silang own work. So, ano pang reason? Ano pang reason mo? Nasasabihin mong expensive. Pwede ka magtrabaho, guys. Yes, mahirap magtrabaho while nasa law school, but it's worth it. So, I think yun lang yung dapat na expect nyo if you are an aspiring law student. If you're gonna ask me if ate, pwede ba akong Uh, maging law student, I would always say yes. Hindi po ako into books, hindi po ako into readings, chuchunet. Huwag kang mag-alala, be. Matututunan mo yan. Matututunan. <laughs> Matututunan mo yan sa law school. Wala akong pera, ate. Mag-work ka, be. You can study while working. You can work while studying. <laughs> Ganer. Ate, mahal yung books. You can use PDF. You can photocopy books you can go to the library and study. Wala nang reasons para hindi makapunta ng law school, guys. If gusto nyo talagang isang bagay, meron talagang paraan para ma-achieve yan. Oh. Sa mga aspiring law students, Chan, yes to law school. Wala nang reason-reason. Go na na So, I hope you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. Bye-bye!